Hey everyone, this is Virdot here and today we'll be facing the Dark Gem. Actually I'm pretty intimidated by this gem because... Um, generally I'm intimidated in like all of my videos, but at the same time I don't have a direct answer to him. Uh, the best I could... I, I mean I don't have a fighting type, I do have a fairy type, but... Uh, no fighting types, which is a bit scary, but let's check his team out. Mandibuzz, Sableye, Tyranitar. Ooh, I really don't like this. <clears throat> Good thing we have Volowisp on my Charizard decks. I think I'm going to lead off with. Uh, hmm. What could be a good lead? Probably Oath, aka the Magneton, is, is a really good lead because unless he leads off with Hydreigon, I think we're good. So <clears throat> yeah, I think I think we're good. <sighs> well, that, that's a scary team. That's a scary team. So let's go. Hmm. I'm not talking because I'm really nervous. So the battle starts. Go, gym leader song. Versus Giovanni, the Dark Gym Leader. Um, answers we have, Brick Brick, Charizard X, and uh, Dazzling Gleam, Clefable. The reason I don't have Moonblast is because it's a pre-evolution move and I already deleted it by accident. So he leads off with Bisharp, which is probably the worst lead for us. But, he can't switch out. Uh, I am going to... I can either reflect or just go for Volt Switch. I think he's gonna go for fighting move, which is not going to kill thanks to the AB light, so I'm just gonna Volt Switch and go into Charizard X. Oh, he can actually switch out. Does he have a ground type? He does not have a ground type, so we can Volt Switch freely. Honestly, I expected the Crocodile, but uh, not Crocodile, so that's good. This is scary. If he sword dances, this is really scary. But at the same time, like I said, we have Volois with Charizard X and Unaware Clefable. Okay, he withdraws. This is awesome. We get Switch Initiative. Hydreigon. Volt Switch. And, um... I can honestly comfortably go into my Clefable and just Calm Mind. So I'm gonna Calm Mind here. Uh, I think his best answer to Clefable is probably uh, the Honchcrow. So I'm just gonna Calm Mind on the spot. I could set up the rocks, but it's not really essential against him. Ooh, he has Flash Cannon. That's scary. And it does more than half. Um, I'm gonna Calm Mind. And uh, then Moonlight just to scout out. And thankfully we have the leftovers, so this is not over for us, even if we did, weren't at plus one. That's Moonlight. Of course he has Flash Cannon, I should have expected that. Okay, he withdraws, that's good. Back to full health. Bisharp. Um... Iron Head incoming, probably going to kill if he has the the life orb, so we should not risk this at all, and we should go into, let's go into Oath back again, hopefully it does not predict that, because it's, it's fairly obvious to be honest. He goes for Swords Dance, this is scary. This is really scary. I should have went for Dazzling Gleam, but um, who's faster? Let me just check real quick. Um, it could be max speed. The sharp. 
But it does not matter, I'm going, not going to mess with the threat. I'm going to instantly go for the Thunderbolt to hopefully one hit KO it. Maybe he'll Sword Dance again, which would be perfect because we can Will O Wisp it with Charizard. So, yeah. Thunderbolt. As he goes for the low sweep, he's faster. This is probably going to take us out. And nope! Oath coming through. We go for Thunderbolt. And this will take him down. Uh, yeah, Focus Sash, most likely. We can save Oath, but honestly, it's. it's uh, Unnecessary. Uh, no, actually, we need it for that Magnezone, uh, for the Mandibuzz. Even though Mandibuzz is actually faster, and we do have the Clefable, so. Let's just go for the Vault Switch. In case he switches out. Yeah, it goes for another low sweep. Since he has no ground types, I can comfortably Mega Evolve with my. Uh, with my Chozer X and just destroy him, but at the same time it's too risky to get a knockoff to the face or maybe Stone Age. So... Yeah, this is the only option. We need to will us but hopefully we don't miss because if we miss we'll be in huge trouble. <laughs> Sucker Punch is too obvious to be honest, but I can't risk it. If we will wisp the mandibles, that's actually good, in a way. I know he's not going for the sucker punch, that's for sure. I think. Or 80% at the very least. Yeah, I, I figured as much. But at least we paralyzed him, so... I mean, we burned him. So this will reduce the damage from low sweep. And this does nothing, thankfully. So... He goes down. Which is good. But now we are at minus one, which is not good at all. But looking at him, uh, he's a predictor. So I'm gonna predict him to go into Tyranitar, Mega Evolve and Dragon Dance as I switch out. Yes, here's the Tyranitar, so I'm just gonna Brick Break, honestly. I know Charizard is very important, but I can't let him Dragon Dance. But then again, I have Unaware. It does not matter, I'm going to Brick Break. Yes, he's Mega Evolving. Please tell me he Dragon Danced. Please not Stone Age. Please not Stone Age. This is too risky. Dragon Dance! Yes! That was an awesome prediction! Here comes Brick Break to the face. Hopefully it will be a one-hit KO. Go Charizard X! Boom! Get out of here, son! That was an awesome prediction! Holy shit, I'm so excited! That's a threat out of the way! Bisharp and Tyranitar. Um, like I said, when I switched out to Clefable, even though I was a plus one, he sword danced. Which means uh, he's very confident with his predictions. So it was obvious that he's going to Tyranitar Dragon Dancing. So yeah. So income Mandibuzz. What can we do to deal with this thing? We can always Ice Beam. I'm just gonna go into my Clefable and go back to my Calm Minding. Or actually just Dazzling Gloom straight up in case he goes into the Hunchcrow. He goes for Fall Play, this will not do much since we have good defense and low attack. This is looking good, this is looking good. Um, he still has a lot of folks that can take him back uh, to full, but not really something to answer for the Clefable. So I'm going to Dazzling Gleam predicting the Hunch Crow. Oh, he just goes for straight up for Brave Bird, okay. Hopefully this doesn't do much. That's not something you see every day, Brave Bird, Mandibus. Doesn't gleam, doesn't do much. Wish I had. At least we took a citrus berry out. That's good. I can't have Clefable go um, have such low health, so I need to continue on moonlighting unless uh, until the sandstorm is gone. So I'm gonna moonlight. Oh, 
You know, actually, Moonlight will not recover that much in the Sandstorm. That that was a that, that was a misclick. That was a misclick. Soft boiled uh, Clefable is better, but it's actually a fourth gen move, so you can't have unaware and Moonlight at the same time. He goes for Brave Bird and it takes us down low, and Moonlight will not recover much. Only 25%, unfortunately. Yeah, not a lot, but at least we're stalling the Sandstorm. Hmm. What should we do to handle this one? From this range, we can actually... I can actually go into my Lungstorm, the Aerodactyl, but I think... I, f I have a I got a feeling that I need to preserve the Sash in case Hunchcrow just goes crazy with Moxie boosts. I'm gonna Dazzle and Gleam, predicting him to do something else. He keeps going for the Brave Birds, and let's see if this is a two-hit KO or not from this range. I don't think it's a two-hit KO. If the Sandstream sand goes this turn, we can live the next one. Okay, Sandstream subsides, and we get our leftovers. We really need this Clefable for this collection of Dark Folks. So I think we can live the next one, hopefully. I am going to... Dazzling Gleam. Okay, he switches out. Nothing will take the Dazzling Gleam well. He is probably predicting my Moonlight. So, Dazzling Gleam to the Sableye. Probably gonna do like 60%. Okay, this is 50%, not bad. The situation is good right now since we took down the Tarantar and the Bisharp, but it's been a bit calm since they were, they were gone. Let's see... I'm gonna Moonlight. Let's hope he does not have Taunt. Maybe he'll recover right now or something, I don't know. will o -Wisp. okay, he's trying to wear me down. Since I'm unaware. Ha! <laughs> Wear me unaware. Okay, never mind. Honestly, the Sableye is a perfect, uh, perfect poke to set up with using Charizard X. So I'm just gonna go into Charizard X and Dragon Dance. And luckily, Mandibles at such low range, it can't take any hit. So into Blackbeard. At least we got Clefable back at full health. So we'll see what he does right now. Goes for a substitute. Well, that's annoying. Unfortunately, we don't have the roast. I should have packed the roast, honestly. Should I Dragon Dance? I'm faster than all of his team, so Dragon Dance is not really necessary. I'm just gonna Flare Blitz. Let's see. Substitute faded. Let's maybe... He'll go for an attacking move since he didn't do anything. Dazzling Gleam. Not bad. This guy is ready for Dark types. So he might substitute next turn just to give me more recoil. Which isn't actually bad, but... Flare Blitz, as he goes for recover, Flare Blitz is going to kill, I think, if he is not max HP, max defense. So, yeah, Flare Blitz, hopefully we take him out. Yes, we do take him out. Uh, he actually handled the Charizard X very, very well. If he sends out the Hunt Crow, that means he's Scarfed. Yeah, he's Cheese Charge Scarfed. Or he wants to Sucker Punch us, so... It's one of the two. Honestly, it's too risky. Even if he gets the Moxie boost, um, Clefable will not give a shit about the Moxie. Plus, I have Focus Sash. But at the same time, he has... Uh, 
Yeah, we really don't need the Charizard X from this range. Um, since he has Mandibus left, Mandibus could actually trouble us very much. Like I said, there's a huge chance that this is Choice Scarf, and unfortunately we need to die. But I'm going to Willow Wisp in case he wants to suck a punch. Okay, goes for Brave Bird. Like I said, he's Choice Scarf, but I had no answer. My Magnetone was dead. And he gets the Moxie Boost, which is a bit scary, honestly. Yeah, the Moxie Boost, and now we can go into um, Aerodactyl with the Focus Sash. Hopefully we don't miss the Stone Edge. If we miss the Stone Edge, we're in huge trouble. So yeah, Stone Edge, please don't miss. Please. Oh, he throws. Okay, not bad. Mandibus. So we hit the Stonage, and uh, what's left for him is prob the Hydra Gun, which isn't scarfed since the Hunchcrow is scarfed. But I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going into my Blastoise. Because I don't want to waste the Focus Sash, honestly. And I, can, and I have Aura Sphere and Ice Beam. I think we're close to victory, guys. I can smell victory, but it's not super close. Okay, Flash Cannon. Predicting the Cliff Fable. But I have my Assault Vest, so we're safe. That's it, guys. I think victory is very near, so I'm just gonna play this song. Come on, Blastoise, Squirtacular, you can do it! You can take it, Draco. Come on. Yes, I knew it! Please kill with the Ice Beam! Yes, we killed it with the Ice Beam! Now Hunchcrow is gonna revenge kill us with the Brave Bird. We almost got this game. We almost got this game. He's gonna kill me and get the Moxie boost. And uh, this is unfortunate, but we have to let it happen. Come on, victory is right before my eyes. He goes for Night Slash, locking himself into Night Slash, which means we can go into the Clefable. And with unaware, this Moxie boost wouldn't even matter. Come on, Clefable. You can do it. Come on. Dazzling Gleam, finish this game. He goes for a nice slash, it's a resistant hit. Come on, finish the game. Finish the game. Yes. Okay, it looks like that's it. Even if he gets a critical hit, it's not enough to kill. And finally, we defeat the Dark Gem. That was intense. That was actually very dangerous. As you can see, it's the longest battle. 18 minutes. But Cliff Abel coming through against this this dark team. Alongside with my awesome prediction against the Tyrant. That was ridiculous. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This will finish the game. Uh, good game, Giovanni. You played really well. That was scary good of you. Your dark team is really awesome. So good game to you. And... Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all the other good stuff. See you later.